So we have a, a case of 62 year old male who was admitted to ICU with fever with chill since two days, infected wound, which was because of the left foot uh, post-operative trimalleolar fracture. And he already had a third toe amputation. He had multiple comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension, ischemic heart disease, and CKD on MH. There were features of septic shock uh, in the terms that he had hypotension with blood pressure of uh, 90 by 50. He had fever, TLC counts were raised, procalcitonin was 9, and he had lactic acidosis of 19. So cultures were sent from the blood and from the wound site. Now, uh, we have been uh, dealing with the septic guidelines since uh, 2000. So the latest septic guidelines came in 2021. So what was new in these uh, septic guidelines? So sepsis is a life-threatening organ dysfunction. Mind you, this is not a condition. It is an organ dysfunction caused by dysregulated host response to the infection. So this is the definition of sepsis. And the surviving sepsis uh, campaign is an international, they gave international guidelines for the management of sepsis and septic shock, which were revised in 2021. So what do they recommend in screening and early treatment? That means if a patient comes in sepsis or septic shock, screening and early treatment is recommended because only then uh, patients can be, uh, uh, patients can have lower mortality and lower morbidity. So they recommended performance improvement programs in all hospitals for sepsis, including septic screening for acutely ill, for high-risk patients, and for standard operating procedures for any treatment. That means in patients who, are, who have become acutely ill or high-risk patient, that means patients who have comorbidities, and in patients who have gone for any operative procedures, which can be empirical or it can be emergency. So uh, they uh, recommended using against you so far compared to SIRS, news or MUSE as a single screening tool. So there is no single screening tool which can tell you about sepsis or septic shock. So this QSOFA, what is QSOFA score? QSOFA score is a criteria which consists of, consists of three parameters, including blood pressure, mental status, and tachypnea, that is respiratory rate. So any score of more than two suggests that there is a greater risk of poor outcome. It only suggests, it just does not diagnose. So this was this is a chart which we follow uh, in a patient who have to be screened by, for sepsis. Now uh, one is Q so far, other is MUSE, which is modified early warning score, which means, as the name indicates, early warning score. So it also aids in catch in defining whether the patient is at risk or not at risk. So we have three color codes in this. Green, which means zero to four score, and it does not meet the criteria of sepsis. In this, the criteria for sepsis are respiratory parameters, that is respiratory rate, pulse rate, systolic blood pressure, temperature, and alertness of the, that is mental alertness. So in green, uh, the patient does not fulfill any criteria of sepsis and the score is between zero to four. In ember, the news criteria is more than five or more than three in one parameter. That means the patient has to be reviewed by the core training, that is an intensivist within 30 minutes because he is a patient who can go into sepsis, right? If the news criteria are news criteria is more than seven, or it meets the criteria for sepsis, so it has to be reviewed immediately by a junior doctor or a senior doctor within thirty minutes. This was one uh, scoring system. Other is SIRS criteria, 
which is most commonly uh, followed, in, which includes temperature of more than 100.4 degree Fahrenheit or less than 96.8 degree Fahrenheit, heart rate of more than 90, respiratory rate of more than 20, or PaCO2 of less than 32 in ABG, WBC count of more than 12,000 or less than 4,000 or 10%, more than 10% band cells in the uh, peripheral blood smear. So once you have diagnosed that the patient is at risk for sepsis or patient is in sepsis, how do you proceed? So it is recommended that patients suspected of having sepsis, you need to measure blood lactates. Why blood lactates? Because they are the uh, uh, criteria for hypoperfusion, that is for the volume status. So a magical number of 30 ml per kg was uh, found to have the, was only found to have observed in the observational data, which can help in treating or in uh, diagnosing sepsis. So sepsis and septic shock, they are both medical evidences. So the treatment has to be begun immediately. So it was uh, suggested that in patients with septic induced hypoperfusion or septic shock, at least 30 ml per kg of IV crystalloid fluid should be given within the first three hours. Although it was a low quality evidence with weak recommendation because there were many other studies which showed that this much fluid may not be required, we'll discuss it in further slides. In patients with sepsis or septic shock in adults, Dynamic parameter monitoring was more favorable over physical examination or static parameters. Dynamic parameters means passive leg raising, fluid bolus challenge, using a stroke volume variation or stroke volume or pulse uh, pressure variation or echocardiography if you have it available. So adults with sepsis, resuscitation to decrease uh, senum lactate uh, in patients who have elevated lactate levels, but not using only serum lactates. Uh, so uh, in acute resuscitation, serum lactates are the parameters which are considered when considering whether your uh, high perfusion parameters are improving or decreasing. If it is decreasing, it means you are adequately hydrating if they are increasing, that means hyperperfusion is not getting better. So they, that is a marker for perfusion. Now, this is also the same, the criteria. Now, uh, we uh, there was a very protocolized approach known as EGDT. That is early goal-directed therapy, which suggested that you have to titrate crystalloids, blood products, and other vasoactive agents, that is agents which increase the blood pressure to static physiological indices. That means your blood pressure levels, your heart rate, which are static. In the terms of central venous pressure of eight to 12, urine output greater than 0.5 ml per kg per hour, mean arterial pressure of greater than or equal to 65, mixed venous oxygen saturation of 70. Uh, 70.